is our holding tank for the houseboat and these are the issues I have with the holding tank. This is a split. This is a crack. I'm thinking this one might be kind of easy to fix. This was the vent and it was a female adapter and the problem with female adapters if you screw the male part in too tight they crack and this one cracked. This one cracked. This is the bad part because it's actually the whole corner of the tank is coming off. And on the other end, well, this looks like another crack. This is probably another crack. And this is another typical issue with a female adapter. Somebody screwed it in tight and it cracked. Um, I don't know whether it's worth fixing, except that a new one will be very expensive because it's not a standard size. And if I try to fix it and it doesn't work, it's not the end of the world because it's accessible so we can just take it out and go to plan B. So I'm going to try to fix it. So this is the, the female flange and it's cracked in a couple pieces and the crack goes up to here. So I'm just going to, I'm going to cut it all the way off flush. I think that will make it easier to fix. I'm just going to sand it, clean it up, and get it flat. This is a 60 grit flap disc. I have this heat gun which is too hot and it's not a direct flame and I have this soldering iron which is about the right temperature but not enough heat so what I do is I just preheat the area with the, with the hot gun and then I use this to make the weld and I'm sure there are people that do this much better than me but this is uh, this is the way I do it So that's the first piece. I'm going to put another piece here and weld it. And then I'm going to put a piece here and a piece here. And uh, that's going to be it. It's uh, pretty simple. It's not pretty, but it's pretty simple. Okay, the second half of the first layer is done. Now I just want to kind of knock the bumps off so the next layer will fit a little better. <laughs>
top. This is a weld I did yesterday and it didn't come out well. For one thing, I got the top too hot and it kind of caved in. And another thing is I used that plastic, that storage box top over there. It didn't seem to work as well. Um, and it doesn't sand smooth. So when you try to sand it, it crumbles. And if you can't sand it smooth, it's hard to tell where you have a good joint. On the other side, they have this crack running along with the tank. I think at one time the tank was probably overfilled and they um, they popped the top off. I don't know. I don't know how that crack got there, but I'm going to patch it up. Alright, the tank is full of water and there are no leaks. Um, that's good stuff. Now, I'd like to say if this was a gasoline tank, I wouldn't be playing with it. I wouldn't do this. If it was a diesel tank, I probably wouldn't do this because it's such a pain if you have a diesel leak. But it's a holding tank and it's totally accessible. If it fails, it's a matter of lifting up the floorboard, pulling it out and throwing it away or trying to fix it again. So that's the reason I'm trying to fix this thing. Otherwise, if it was a holding tank like behind the engine or under the generator or something, no way I'd be playing with this. Too much trouble to change it, but this is, uh, this is, oh, oh, I do have a leak. Look at that. All right, I'll, I'll fix that. All right, welded it shut and put a patch over it and welded that down. And we are leak free. Home run. Wrapping up the holding tank, almost finished. Um, these two holes are the suctions, which will be these. These are uh, bulkhead fittings with threads on both ends. One of these goes to the su suction fitting on the side of the boat. So if you go to a pump out, it'll pump out. This one will go to under here where I'm going to have a macerator pump. And then this hose, this one inch hose over here will be the discharge for the macerator pump. Um, these are located where they are because it's the deepest part of the tank. And then I put a little excess port which is located where it is because that's as far as my arm will reach to get to the bottom of these two fittings. And these two fittings which is the inlet from the toilet and the vent are located where they are because that's as far as my arm would reach from the access port and it's a it's a close one at that so i've got these ready to go in um it's kind of tricky because i got to get underneath with the uh with the retaining nut and the gasket from the bottom Okay, I've got I've got them in the two suctions. Um, this little access port actually has a backing ring underneath it. It is not just screwed into the top of the plastic tank. It's screwed through the tank into a ring, so it's pretty sturdy. Um, and the other hoses are ready to hook up. I don't want to hook them up yet because we still have a little bit of carpentry and dust seems to find its way down here. So I'm gonna leave everything loose so I can take the tank out one more time. And do a final cleaning and I'll need a block the back end is butted up against that um, cross beam on this end I'll screw a little block just to keep it from sliding around and the sump here this is for the air conditioner condensate and the shower it's all hooked up ready to go